Think about the last time you cried. Maybe it was a movie, a heartbreak, or the loss of someone you love. In the United States, millions of people are told, especially men, to hold it in, to never cry, to stay strong. But what if you never cried at all? What would happen to your brain and your body? Here's the shocking truth. Crying isn't weakness, it's biology. Your brain needs crying. Without it, stress builds, mental health collapses, and even your body suffers in ways you may not realize. Today, we're uncovering the hidden science of tears, why your brain is wired to cry, what happens if you never let those tears out, and why holding them back could be more dangerous than you think, why humans cry. Crying is unique to humans. Emotional tears contain stress hormones like cortisol. They release oxytocin and endorphins, chemicals that calm the brain. Tears also serve as communication, signaling pain, sadness, or even joy to others. In the US, psychologists call crying a release valve for the brain, one that prevents emotional overload. What happens in the brain when you cry? When you cry, the hypothalamus activates, sending signals to your tear glands. Stress hormones are flushed out of your system. Endorphins flood your brain, creating relief and even mild euphoria. It's like your brain is pressing a reset button, Without this, stress builds unchecked. If you never cry, stress overload. Holding back tears means stress chemicals stay trapped in your body. Cortisol levels remain high. Anxiety increases. Your brain's amygdala, the fear and stress center, stays overactive. In America, chronic stress is already an epidemic. Without crying, your brain is missing one of its natural coping tools, emotional numbness. People who never cry often report feeling emotionally flat. That's because suppressing tears can blunt both sadness and happiness. Over time, your brain may start to disconnect from emotions, leading to emotional numbness or depression. Psychologists in the U.S. link low crying frequency with higher rates of mood disorders. Impact on mental health. Not crying doesn't make emotions disappear. It traps them inside. Risk of depression rises. Anxiety becomes chronic. Sleep quality suffers since stress hormones remain elevated. Studies show that Americans who cry regularly report better mood recovery compared to those who suppress it. Impact on the body. The damage isn't just mental. High stress hormones increase blood pressure and heart risk. Suppressed emotions weaken the immune system. Even digestion suffers since the gut and brain are closely linked. Doctors in the U.S. now emphasize emotional release, including crying as part of holistic health, eye health and crying. Tears also lubricate your eyes, washing out dust and bacteria. If you never cry, your eyes are at higher risk for dryness, irritation and infection. In fact, crying occasionally keeps your vision clear and your eyes healthy. Why Americans avoid crying? In US culture, especially among men, Crying is often seen as weakness, but science says the opposite. Crying is a biological strength. Suppressing tears may look strong on the outside, but inside, the brain is silently taking damage. What to do? Allow yourself space to cry when emotions overwhelm you. Talk to someone you trust. Sharing often triggers healthy crying. Watch a movie or listen to music that helps release emotions. Don't fight the tears. They're therapy your brain is giving you for free. Don't bottle up emotions. Practice journaling or meditation to express feelings. Seek professional help if you feel unable to cry even when deeply stressed. It could signal depression. And remember, crying isn't a flaw, it's a feature of human survival. Never crying might sound strong, but in reality, it's silent self-destruction. Your brain builds stress, your body weakens, and your emotions fade. Crying is one of nature's most powerful healers. And when you allow yourself to cry, you're not breaking down, you're repairing. So the next time you feel those tears coming, don't hold them back. They're your brain's way of protecting you. Share this video with friends and family, because in America, where too many people hide their tears, knowing the truth about crying could save mental health.